Blog Talk Radio. Seven forty five AM. I open the doors to a building dedicated to building yet only breaks me down. I march down hallways, cleaned up after me every day by regular janitors, but I never had the DCC to honor their name. Lockers left open like teenage boys' mouths and teenage girls wear clothes that covers the insecurity but exposes everything else. Masculinity mimicked by men who grew up with no fathers. Camouflage worn by bullies who are dangerously armed but need hugs. Teachers pay less than what it costs them to be here. Oceans of adolescents come here to receive lessons but never learn to swim. Part like the Red Sea when the bell rings. This is a training ground. My high school is Chicago. Diverse and segregated on purpose. Social lines are barbed wire. Labels like regulars and honors resonate. I am an honor. But go home with regular students who are soldiers in territory that owns them. This is a training ground to sort out the regulars from the honors, a reoccurring cycle built to recycle the trash of this city. Trained at a young age to capitalize letters taught now that capitalism raises you, but you have to step on someone else to get there. This is a training ground. But one group is taught to lead and the other is made to follow. No wonder so many of my people spit bars because the truth is hard to swallow. The need for degrees has left so many people closed. Homework is stressful. But when you go home every day and your home is work, you don't want to pick up any assignments. Reading textbooks is stressful, but reading does not matter when you feel your story is already written, either dead or getting books. Taking tests is stressful. But bubbling in a scantron does not stop bullets from bursting. I hear education systems are failing. But I believe they're succeeding at what they're built to do, to train you, to keep you on track, to track down an American dream that has failed so many of us all. Oh, oh, oh. So many of us all. Greetings, 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 people. It's your Cosmic Brother, Safo BMP, Free Thinkers Nation Radio. We back, season two. I'm with my brother. Mr. Smooth, yeah, that's me. Quabba, Quabba Stack, whatever you want to call me. Yeah, we back on, season two. We going raw. Hell yeah, straight raw, uncut, brother. Yeah, exactly, man. It's, it's getting The madness is getting crazy out there, man. It's getting crazy. Yo, tell me about it, man. You just tell me about some crazy video of some brothers on some other shit. What, what was you talking about again? <laughs> yeah, man. It, it's not funny, but it's I know it's kind of funny because it's 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 ridiculous. You know, it's these young brothers. Um, I was watching the video. It was being spread around on Facebook. Um, these brothers talking about how they um sucking dicks and this and that homosexuality stuff, you know, the European mentality stuff. And it's spreading it around and rapping and competing against each other to see which ones can talk the hardest on who is can be more homosexual and stuff like that. And then this other brother brother who was commenting commenting on it, you know, I guess he owned his own radio station on YouTube. I don't know his name, but he's not even that important. But anyway, he was talking about how he, um, it's the black women's fault. And I've, I've, I've heard his radio station before. He, uh, that's all he does, you know. He, he bashed the, um, black women, melanated women, talking about it's, it's their fault, you know. It's that they, that these boys are acting like that. It's not their fault, you know. It's the society's fault. Because they're locking up the men who are supposed to be responsible to teach these and guide these young men 
how to be men, you know? Yeah. And that, that's that's the problem right there. It's not the women's fault. It's like, so, yeah, I feel you, man. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. It's like some, I, for, I remember so many lecturers have gone on this topic, like Bobby, um... Dr. Bill, Dr. Bill Valentine, Phil Valentine, Dr. Amos Wilson, Mad Brothers would call it like the defeminization. I think that's how you say it of the male. Exactly what you talk. The African males. Yes, and it's like it goes hard to the point <clears throat> with even brothers how they sag and shit. Like that's the same shit with the homosexuality. They related that with how brothers when they sag, it starts from the cleavage. Then it gets real low, and eventually it's going to turn into a dress. And then you look at videos and movies, no disrespect to, you know, Mar um, uh, I forgot the brother's name, but the brother who who, who made the movie um, Big Mama's House. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, Martin Lawrence? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Martin Lawrence. Him and other, him and other uh, melanated brothers, they, they, they all seem to be in dresses. So it's like... Tyler Perry? Yeah. Exactly. So it's like that's that's a part of it. Like the the sagging is eventually gonna turn to brothers in dresses, and it's like I seen some picture the other day. I'm gonna see if I can. I'm gonna put it on the YouTube that when people see them, when people watch this via YouTube. I don't know if you seen it, man, but it was like these brothers are wearing like some crazy tight pants. It was like cut up in the middle. Like bro, I'm saying tight wear like football pants tight like. You can see the outline of their thighs. I was like, God damn. Yo, this tiger shit's on another level, bro. Man, it's 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 like that, man. It's it's crazy. It's really crazy nowadays what they're doing. Yeah, and the pants sagging and people thought it was just a fad, you know. And usually fads and trends usually last for ten years. But this has been going on for too long, you know, and it's not a trend. It's it's a cultural thing. It's a it's a pandemic. You know, it's it's us being um, programmed by the Europeans and so the media to become homosexuals to be less than men because that gives them them an opportunity for women and it gives them an opportunity to access the children because now they're taking away the warriors. You know, so. Now there's nobody to protect the women and nobody else to protect the children. And once you get the children, you know, and you can teach them whatever you want, and that's exactly what these young brothers are responding to because that's all they've been taught and been diluted to think. Exactly. It's crazy. And one thing I can't stand, not even can't stand, because I, I, I overstand it. I know that's just how they do their thing to get, their audience or whatever, because I know people attract to negativity. But I just got to make this point. Like you were saying, how that brother was talking about it's it's the male native sister's fault. Like, yeah. <laughs> so the sisters, right? They're they're getting attacked on 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 another level with themselves, like with just the self hatred on so many yeah. on so many levels, like. Through the music, how well I shouldn't say through the music, but through the commercialized music, it is like normal just to be disrespecting chicks to the point yeah. where I seen some chick, like I don't know what team she was part of. I think it was like French Montana's team, Coke Boys, but she was like, "Oh yeah, me and my bitches, you know, what I'm saying I'm around with the bitches, ooh, you know, fatty." That it's like, God damn, it's got to the point where it's like sisters is talking about like that to themselves just to indoctrinate themselves into this fucking system so they can, I guess, so-called blow up. I don't, man, this shit is crazy. Yeah. It's a survival thing, man. That's what, I, that's what I'm seeing it as. It's, they trying to survive. These uh, People are trying to survive. And the man think in order to survive, they have to be less than, men, less than men because what is happening is the corporate is, you see, they're giving the jobs, you know, and the big opportunities to the women, you know. And then no disrespect to the sisters, but then when they get those opportunities and those, they get a big old, they get an ego, you know, and they start thinking that they're better than the African men, you know. So they start looking down at the men and think, ah, oh, why couldn't you do it, you know. But there's a reason why we couldn't do it. It's because it's set up that way so that the women could get those positions and then the men could not be the providers like we were naturally born to be because... 
me when I'm broke or something, I don't have the money, you know, to support my queen, I'll be pissed, you know, I'm mad because, man, you know, the common things that I should be able to give her, I can't give her all the things that I should be able to provide, I can't do it. So it will make me feel very, it might be an insecurity thing, but still, it's a, it's my unnatural instinct to provide for my family. So now you have taken that away from me, how, how am I supposed to feel? Exactly. Exactly. One, one, one. I, 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 that is like some real shit, and that's how that's how they that's how they really get one, it. One, one, I, 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 that's how they get it, man. It's all it's, it's all like a design system to to make sure that the male and female are are separated, divide and conquer. Yep. As long yep, divide and conquer. Yeah, man. As long as you separate the union of that, the children will fall with it. Because I remember you told me even so a while ago. It's like, it's all right if they destroy the man for that time being. But the main idea to destroy the man is to really destroy the women. Because when you destroy yep. the women, you destroy the children. And when you destroy the children, you destroy generations. And that's how you create these epidemics. I remember you told me that shit. It's, that's some real shit, though, because that's how you really do that shit. Yep. That's the enslavement process, man. That's how the fall of the women is the fall of the nation. Yes. Once the women have fallen... The nation is just, it's nothing no more. And look at our community. Our women are disrespecting each other, calling each, like you said, calling each other bitches, hoes. And like like I was watching this movie, I know it might be old, but I forgot the name of the movie. Um, But it's a movie from L.A. And it was talking, and the guy in there, he was like, yeah, man, keep your bitches in line. Yeah, Man, take those bitches over there. I'm like, he was just using the word bitches like it's just a regular word, and it's just, I'm just like, wow, that's how they talk. And I remember MSI, um, Ace was talking about that. He was talking about how in California, that's how they talk. They just call the women bees like it's just nothing, like it's just a regular word. That's just, and it's just, it's 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 sad. It's sad. Yo. You know, that's crazy. That reminds me when we were at Payne College, because, no bull, it was like Payne College when I really experienced that, when it was like, you know, straight up, everybody's, yo, yo, nigga, yo, yo, bitches, yo, yo, this, yo, that, you know what I'm saying? Like, that was like the lit, the legit time where I was around that type of atmosphere. You, know, you remember that? Like, everyone was like that. Even, like, a lot of the, the girls or whatever, they would do the same shit to each other. It was crazy mental side. Man, it's... it's Man, it, yeah, and you would think the HBCUs, man, is a little conscious, but it's not like that, man, in the HBCU. And, I mean, unfortunately, you know, I will never go to an HBCU again because, to me, even historically, if you really look at the background of um, HBCUs, they were created by white people to keep black people out of their schools. One, so, one, one, I, 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 basically... And this, these schools were created for us to be teachers and not to be really doctors or anything above anything. They were just created so that we could have a, a place in the society or whatever, you know. Yeah. So that's, that's all the HBCUs were originally for. And they perpetuate that culture by still not taking that mindset out of the HBCUs. Exactly. So they still kind of, the same thing at Morehouse and all these other places. Yo, speaking of Morehouse, I had to cut you off real quick. Two things. I'm going to get on to the, to the first one, the light skin syndrome, after, because I know that's involved with the creation of the HBCUs. But the second thing, which is what I, since it connects with what we were talking about in the beginning, I heard this crazy, crazy homo shit going on at Morehouse, yo. Like, Man. talking about <laughs> brothers in skirts. It's shit like that, like, bro, this is an all-men's brother's school, bro. Like, how is this homo shit going on, man? I heard it, yo, when I was in Georgia, bro, I remember that everybody, everybody used to say, like, this mad on the low shit. Like, if you're trying to, yo, like, if ATL is, like, the uh, on the low, gay, like, gay atmosphere. Like, no disrespect to, you know, people who are, you know, I, you do what you do. But, like, I just heard that shit, and that shit's crazy. And it's, like, undercover, like, people you would even see, like... Man, it's it's all here, man. They have made Georgia like their capital, these homosexuals, man. I guess because of the G A and I guess when you leave out the Y, but they have made it into their capital, man. And it's everywhere. Like 
I mean, I'm gonna tell this a personal. This is a personal story, but I'm walking like down the street, right? And these guys, I mean, I was working. I was actually working, and I was like trying to advertise my product. I was trying to be a, I was a salesperson, and then this guy like they would try to hit on you, man. Like, they don't have any like any decency or respect for you. That's how insane this this thing is, man. It's it's a sickness. It's a disease. It's not really a condition. People try to make it like, ah, oh, they born like that. These are people are not born like that. At least to me, Africans are not born like that. Maybe Europeans are born like that because that's part of their culture and their way of being and associated with each other. But Africans, we are not born like that. Black people, we're not born like that. So it's a it's a it's a social thing that they've been programming us to think that that we are born this way and this is part of everybody and some people no nah, it's only a small percentage of people who are those who are born with the um like a male male sexual organ or a female sexual organ both organ it's only a small percentage of those people but every saying that people are born that way that's just a that's just trying to write it off so they don't have to deal with the disease that is going on Exactly. It looks like that um, like Ace is joined in. Yo, what's good, brother? Yo, Ace. I look. Oh, I just put him in. I don't know. It's it's this whole time, but um, as he's coming in, that's so true. It's it's definitely conditioned. Everybody used to say that shit. I remember down there. Um, I forgot who was I talking to. I think it was Steven. He was trying to tell me that that's you know people are born like that. And honestly, man. It's it's definitely like how you're saying an excuse to write off because it's like once you really get down to it, there's mad stories and yeah you can't use some people's stories to generalize for everyone but it's just yeah. an example. Mad stories of people who when they were young like I guess before their conscious memory four years old whatever their conscious memory is a lot of them had issues of. You know, being molested, exactly, and you know, a lot of that shit fucks with you when you a child. Cause you a child, you innocent. When someone fucks with your innocence, that 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 messes with your whole psychology. Because mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know how it would, I don't know how to explain it scientifically because it never happened to me. But I mean, I would just imagine like if I, if someone's four years old, five years old. And you know you you doing some homo shit to them like them goddamn devils at the church and shit. You know them priests molesting. Yeah, I, how, that's definitely gonna mess with them psych psychologically. You feel me? Exactly, because I mean they're not conscious enough to realize it, but it's in their subconscious now. So subconsciously they're gonna associate. Oh man. Um, so if it's a, a a woman that's doing it or a man that's doing it, they're gonna say, oh man, maybe I am this way. Maybe that's, I mean, if a man is doing it, I am this way. And the only way that I can be accepted is just by being with another man because now that's all I've been, I've been, I've been associated with so far in my life. So then they just gravitate towards that. And my uncle was telling me an interesting story of how he was working with a, a, a guy who was um, a brother, black guy who was a um, homosexual. And he was telling him, like, look. I know people try to say, yeah, you're born with like that and all that. But what I've known is people who are born, who are like who you are, they're most likely in their past or in when they were children, they were molested. The guy got offended with my uncle, but then he went to his mom or his parents and asked them, like, did something happen when I was a child? And the parents was like, they were quiet for a moment. And then eventually they ended up telling him, yeah, one of your uncles did something to you when you were a child, and we didn't tell you about it. So right there, you see, <laughs> it's one, true one, that I it's, it's a disease in our community, and it's spreading like wildfire, and we are not handling it. And we shouldn't just be saying it's the boy's fault for talking the way that they're talking and saying what's wrong with our young men nowadays. We shouldn't be saying that. We should be giving more attention to the brothers that are making positive impact in the community and saying, okay, this is how we should keep on raising our men to be like, giving more energy to that instead of giving all the negativity to 
men, guys who are acting like women to survive. Exactly, man. And that's the main emphasis of what I feel like the show is surrounded about. Around, it's basically this video that you were shared to mad people put a lot of their energy into this negativity. Like, oh my God, look at these guys talking about it. But it's like, exactly what you're saying, people should put more energy towards brothers doing positive things. Like, well, how are we doing, basically? You know what I'm saying? We come in here, we're looking to push a positive message, positive influence, positive motivation, you know what I'm saying? Support others to do the same thing. Like attracts like, you throw that energy, that's going to be back for you. You create that. Yo, that's, that's, that's what it is, man. It's all about pushing that positive wave, you know what I'm saying? And that's, and that's really what it's going to come down to because the people who follow all that negativity, that reflects a lot of their inner world. Everything that's going on or outside of them, them focus on this negativity, all that, you know what I'm saying? That shows a lot what's going inside their mind and inside their inner world of, oh, that's what all you focus on, then inside of you must be a lot of that mess inside too. You dig what I'm saying? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, and I guess uh, we've been so conditioned, you know, with our enslavement, my offer, that what happened to us, the atrocities that happened to us, we've been so programmed to want to focus on the negative aspects of our community that sometimes we miss the good things that are happening in our communities. We fail to address it. And we're not trying to give a big head to ourselves and say, yeah, we the greatest um, brothers growing up right now. We're just saying, you know, we are an example of positivity that could be, you know, could be put more energy into so we can keep on doing what we have to do for our people, you know, so we can rise up again and stop begging these people on our knees all the time, like these Negroes, you know. Mm -hmm. That's all they do. Mm -hmm. you know, their knees ain't grow. <laughs> That's why they need growth, I say. Good thought. One, one, one. I, 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 I. Nah, real talk, though, like, that's the movement. And it's honestly, I've been seeing a lot of, um, and this is for me, though, because in my reality, I focus on the positive. Like, I block out all that other stuff. And it's not to say that, you know what I'm saying, I just, like, um, how do you call it, like, ignore it, like it's not there or something. Like, I I don't focus yeah. on it. You dig what I'm saying? So for me, yeah, yeah. A lot of the positive things I, I, I personally see, like, for example, this brother that we had on the lecture, like, right before the show, right when the show started, the intro, brother's breaking down, like, how the school system is and how, you know, it's related to his lifestyle and how it's, it's really to condition people backwards and put them into a survival method. Like, brothers like him pushing that poem and that poetry, it really is able to connect with a lot of people on an emotional level because now they get to step out of the whole condition, okay, man, I, you know, I, I got to go to school, you know, I got to do this. I, they get to really see why is it you think like that. You feel me? Rat race. Yes, for sure, bro. It's all conditioning. Yep, exactly. They, 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 that's all they do to us, you know, condition us, condition us. When you, when you tune into the TV, all they're doing is conditioning you. And when you watch a CNN, Caucasian national news, all you're doing is being <laughs> conditioned every single time. One, one, one. I, 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 Yo, that's so that's why you have to tune out of it and tune into some positivity, some real positive upliftment like in Mualamu Barudi's lectures or uh, Phil Valentine hidden colors, stuff like that. Tune into that kind of stuff. Stop tuning into the Caucasian national news. Yo, exactly. Yo, speaking of that, man, uh, these things feed you, like, energetically. Like, all those medias um, of what you just mentioned, they feed you energetically, just like how with music, you know what I'm saying? That would also reflect a lot of, what going in, of, of what's going on inside someone. Like, someone's music library, if you were to look at it, it would really tell you a lot about that person on a hey, concert. Yeah. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Yeah, it, that's. I mean, I never really thought about it until my my mom actually told me about that, and she, I know, she pointed that to me, and then I thought about it. I was like, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I, I dig it, man. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, man, and it's like a, a lot. What you see on the radio right now? I mean, I even listen to the radio, but I would just assume same old shit that you hear on the radio is like it's all that stuff to just. It's, if it's not building you up. 
Like, it's destroying you. Like, that's the way I see it. Yep. A lot of it is really just destroying you. None of it is about empowering you. None of it is about that. It's, if it's not about empowering you, what is it about? You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> yep, exactly. <laughs> what else could it be doing? If it's not that, then what is it doing? Exactly. And that's the one, thing one, that's one, all I Straight up, yo. That's why people need to tune into this higher vibe. This is a new movement that's coming out. This is Age of Aquarius, Information Age. If you're not, when, when they say it's Information Age, that means ignorance is a choice. Information is out there. It's your choice. If you choose to block it off, you and your cognitive dissonance. For y'all that don't know what that means, yo, Slash, you should break that down in a simple level for them, bro. Cognitive dissonance. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, I actually heard about it from you, and um, I haven't really gone down to um to do some research on it myself. I'll be honest. So I'm gonna let you do the work, man. Yo, man. And I'm gonna listen. It's cool, bro. It's it's like okay, this brother name I think it's France Fernand, um, a lecturer or whatever. He he. It's he basically brother. like someone who rejects information that contradicts their belief systems. So, for example, <clears throat> let's say for a religion. Like menticide. Yeah, exactly what menticide is, what um, Amwala Baruti really talks about. Matter of fact, you should uh, break down a definition, and I'll give an example to connect that so it can really, you know what I'm saying, make sense. Okay. All right. Yeah, for most um, psycho psycholog um, psychiatrists out there or whatever, um, menticide, basically from Amwala Baruti's definition, is thinking in the mind of somebody else's mentality. You know, like basically you um like us trying to be thinking like we Europeans or we we're not African and basically using their ideals to fit our um needs when basically it's not it's not it's no benefit to us, basically. Yeah, exactly. Now, just to connect that, it's the same idea with one, one, one. you thinking in the mind of somebody else. So when someone tells you something that contradicts what you're thinking about, you completely reject it. Like, for example, someone who, I, I wouldn't even get into religion, Not someone who believes in Santa Claus. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you're thinking in the mind of the European folk tale or the European uh, fairy tale, rather. You know what I'm saying? So someone tells you, man, Santa Claus ain't real. That's your parents buying you them, pack, them, 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 them toys. Oh, no, nah, what are you talking about? i seen it. No, I, I had a dream about it. What are you saying? And then, of course, you know, whatever you believe is what's created. So your whole subconscious creates in your mind, your imagination. And it's not to say anybody is, is crazy. I'm just giving straight up fundamentals about your mind. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever you believe, that's what's going to be created in your mind. You feel me? So it's like, it's... That's cognitive dissonance is what rules out a lot of ignorance because, I mean, it's sad to say, but a lot of people just don't want to hear it. Yeah, and this is kind of besides the point, but for those who don't know, the idea of Santa Claus actually came from a black man named Saint Nicholas. Yo, break that. And I believe he was from Germany. Whoa. Yeah, it was a black man who was called Saint Nicholas. And that's the I, that's where they got the idea of Santa Claus because I mean they do tell that Saint Nicholas is actually Santa Claus, but they don't tell you it's a black brother. It's a brother who was actually they got the name Santa Claus or Saint Nicholas from. I did some crazy. That's I'm not even surprised. Every yo they they never create anything. That's why they copy <laughs> specialists. Like straight up, bro. Like they don't create shit. They just copy. But yo, yeah, your face special is just <laughs> straight up. But yo, it's it's the end of the show. Top, top. Sorry that we got to leave so soon, but it's just the end show. You know what I'm saying? Something light. Yep. Yo, thirteen love to all the listeners. Your brothers, cosmic yep. brothers, Safo, BMP, signing out. Your best yeah, your family, Abushia, Odo, Nia, Sumje. I say, I say, I say. Always stay tuned to the. Higher, 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 higher. Like that. <laughs> 1313. Alright, peace. One, 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 one. I, 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 I.
Perfect.